This next bout is three five minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins and seven losses. He stands one of 65 centimeters tall and weighs already 56.15 kilograms. Representing Rebel 2 Combat Sport and Fitness and fighting out of the Philippines, please welcome Janelle, the Demolition Man, Lassa! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man to make five stars with a press record, all seven wins and three losses. He stands one, 68 centimeters tall and weighs already 57.15 kilograms. Representing Australian top team, and fighting out of South Africa, Gerald Fucking Shield, Buddha Murphy. Your referee is Sergio Wijaya. Big thanks to our sponsor, Kuda Lao Nusantara, Dan Shield Moodley in the red corner, red tape on his wrist, Janelle Lausa, blue corner, blue tape on his wrists. It'll be interesting to see if Dan Shield shoots in on the very dangerous striker that is Janelle Lausa. How good is his takedown defense? Dan Shield, of course, is an incredible wrestler, so dominant. Is that, is that Dan Shield took a little bit of a bladed stance initially, then shifted to, here he goes again, playing with his opponent's mind a little bit. As he's doing that, very, very smart fight. As he's doing that, he's getting a sense of his opponent's reflexes. What attacks his oppo opponent may, may want to make. It's extremely good opening from Dan Shield. Fainting a lot, switching from side to side, taking a fully sideways bladed stance, squaring up a little bit more. This is how you're supposed to start a fight in mixed martial arts. I'm really enjoying his movement. Oh, that's a big shot to the body. Tries to parlay a, a, a kick that was caught in the jumping knee. Evolution personified at Dan Shield Midley. Absolutely yep. accidental. Referee may just keep him going. And that's what we saw right there. Loving the fluidity of Dan Shield Moodley here, Phil. Switching stances as confidently as you would like. Oh, wasn't far away with a head kick. Caught more on the gloves. Clinch initiated from Dan Shield Moodley. Oh, oh, gets his back, back take. take. Not something I had predicted, Phil. Lausa does have two wins by submission on his ledger, not just a striker. Dan Shield now trying to grind the opponent's arms off his back, cheese grater style, against that fence. Not successful so far. And the hands are apart. Back to striking. Well, it's bound to be good for the confidence of both fighters. Janelle being able to get in and clinch. And, oh, beautiful leg kick. Dan Shield now seeing the kick caught twice. He wants to move down to the calf. No question whatsoever. He wasn't far away with a head kick. Now Janelle has double underhooks. Over under position now. Dan Shield defending well. Did a good job with the wrist control, trying to break that grip. He's in his running man stance sideways, has an underhook, oh. and it was not enough. He is down, reversed, he's stuck inside a guillotine. We can't see how, can't, couldn't see how tight. Dan Shield Moodley is now out. Malansa lets it go. He has not won via submission since November of 2014 when he defeated Dean at Bermudez via first round guillotine. It's a problematic move in mixed martial arts, Phil, to go for that guillotine from standing. It does mean you end up on the bottom if it doesn't yeah. work. Typically, your opponent on top of you with bad intentions, raining down punches, or even worse, elbows. Lausa trying to create an angle for himself. Has the foot on the hip. May try and switch the angle for the armbar here. Closes the guard. Dan Shield Moodley happy to sit in this position and land enough shots to keep himself honest. No need for the referee to stand him up because he's keeping busy. 
There we go. One of the reasons, Brave Nation, you throw shots when you're on the ground, even though you don't have your hips behind him, is to get your opponent to do something. In this yes. case, Dan Shield wanted his opponent to release that head. So he hit the ribs, hit the ribs, hit the ribs, probably did it 10 times in a row. Finally, his opponent had to drop that hand, and that will allow Dan Shield to get potentially to further his position or posture back. There you, see, there you see an attempt to further position. He may also posture back to get a little more leverage behind those strikes. Dunshell doing a good job right now of immobilizing the hips. He needs to keep square here. Doesn't want to get himself caught in something of his own doing. Dan Shields applying a lot of forward pressure with those hips. You see the demolition man's head cocked sideways. He's jammed up against that fence. Tries to step over the half guard. Marshall doing a good job of reclaiming guard each time. That's a defensive strategy in mixed martial arts, though, and unlike boxing, defense does not count on the judges' scorecards in this sport. It means you're not getting killed, but, but you're not it, being proactive. It doesn't. It doesn't really mean anything. The judges would uh, completely disregard an opponent's defense under the unified rules of mixed martial arts. So a little bit of striking from bottom. That's what we need to see more of from the demolition man if he wants to catch the judge's attention. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Dancio Moodley turning it up a little bit. Lousa trying to throw shots from the bottom. Very difficult. I'd like to see him throw elbows from the position. It was just about to when the clapper went. Now, unlike other sports, like football, we're in the middle of the World Cup, you know what the score is. Your opinion, what do you think the score is in this fight after round one? Oh, you're putting me on the spot. If I were to be putting uh, am I worried about I would say that that looks like a 10 9 round for Dacio Moodley. I call it the exact same way. He controlled the tempo of the fight. Once he got the tape side, he controlled. I completely immobilized that shit. I'm sorry, completely immobilized, immobilized Janelle Lawson. What we're seeing here is a takedown. It was a pretty, pretty spectacular takedown. Howsome ever. Again, Phil, the modification, the elevation, the evolving of the unified rules of mixed martial arts no longer count a takedown as being very, very significant. You have to take your opponent down and yep. then do something with it. No question in my mind, although I'm not a judge here, it was a 10-9 round for Dan Shield. Muda Moodley. I think we now know the... I think we now know the game plan on both fighters, Gary. Dan Shield Moodley wants to take this to the ground. Lyser. If I was in the corner of him, I would tell him that to keep distance, use the jab, establish the jab, and be on your bicycle. Implement lateral movement. Don't be there when Dan Shield Moodley shoots. The demolition man wants to knock his opponent out. Now, he tried to do it in the first round by setting down, by planting his weight down a little bit and throwing a single big shot, like you saw right there. I think we need a little bit more. Big shot right down the middle from Janel Lausa. Again, beautiful IQ from Dancio Moodley. Pops right back up. But we're seeing a difference in the power of the striking between these two athletes. There's a reason he's called the demolition man. Big sprawl from Janel Lausa doing the right thing. There was potentially the uppercut almost caught Dancio coming in. Absolutely fantastic double leg takedown. The first was attempted and was shut down. It takes a, a fighter with extreme confidence in himself, extreme confidence in his trainers, to when something's been shut down, go right for it again. The timing had to be absolutely perfect on that for Dan Shield Moodley, and it was. Nice head control, just pinning it against the head of Janelle Lausa. Now Moodley's got to get busy. Busy. He's either got to try and further his position, which would mean moving from inside guard to a half guard or even to side control, potentially even to mount, or he's got to launch a striking attack. Regard another regard from Janelle Lausa. But again, like you said, Carrick, he needs to be proactive. He just can't be in a defensive position for the rest of the rounds. Moodley. Elevated his hips in an attempt to get all the way past that guard. It was unsuccessful. Again, Lausa has the foot on the hip. Oh, tried to hit the sweep, and now Fantastic Lausa's technique. Beautiful jiu-jitsu from Janelle Lausa. What can Dancio Moodley offer off his back? Oh, huge. 
May try and hit the bump sweep, but gets right back to the feet. It's a big shot. Another big takedown incoming from Dan Shield Moodley. Excellent technique from Dan Shield Moodley. He was rocked a little bit there, no question in my mind. His neck was just a little bit loose, got in on his opponent. He's buying himself the five to ten seconds that he needs in order for the head to clear so he can get back into his fight. Now he needs to work in for the underhooks, does so brilliantly. He needs to get his head underneath the chin of Dan Shield. a beautiful work from Buran. And so the tide turns Brave Nation. Dan Shield Moodley got rocked a little bit there. He's now on top and in charge. That was beautiful sequential wrestling. Worked for his underhooks, got his head underneath the chin of his opponent and reaped the leg out. Absolutely beautiful wrestling from Moodley. Lausa now trying to rest a little bit, trying to get his bearings back, trying to catch his breath, and he's going to try and spring back up to standing. Oh, there's a little bit of Clara on somebody. Can't quite see who's caught. It might be Dan Shield Moodley. I would be surprised if it was anybody but. He caught a couple of big shots there, including an elbow when he was on bottom. Valiantly moved through that and is now on top, top in a dominant position. Again, just establishing that anchor position. There's scope here to throw him off elbows if he chooses. Working the body to keep himself honest, to negate the potential stand up from the referee. Little wrinkle we're seeing here. Dan Shield Moodley did not put his opponent down there right in front of his corner by accident. This is real cage generalship you see here. When you take your opponent down by your corner, he can no longer hear his corner, and your corner can see everything that's going on. You've got basically two guys fighting for you now. You've got yourself and you've got your coach all there fighting together. It is a huge advantage. Yes incredible cage IQ from Dan Shield Moodley, not only taking his opponent to his own corner, but also taking away the most dangerous tools that Lysa has, that being his hands. Moodley doing a good job of staying busy enough with his strikes, attempting to pass guard at certain points, throwing shots like we see right here. I gotta say, Phil, that corner, when, you, when a shot lands and your corner makes a huge noise, it can have an effect on the judges. That big Muay Thai, hey! Woodley trying to get back in on a takedown. He is relentless, but good sprawl from Lausa. Right there again, and the, the relentlessness of Dan Shield Moodley. Cardio for days, Kerry. Laos did an excellent job. He didn't take a lot of damage on bottom. He bided his time, caught his breath a little bit, popped up the standing, but unfortunately, Dan Shield Moodley is on. His wrestling is on tonight. He is not stopping. Things don't go his way. He just does it again. Thus far, it has worked for him. We always knew how dominant, compact a wrestler Dan Shield Moodley is, but this is next level. He has unquestionably leveled up since moving to Australian top team. There yeah, you have it. Jerry, I don't think there could be any defeats in this morning on that line. Another 10-9 for Dutch Young Having said that, Brave Nation, we are not the judges here tonight. Judges have seen this fight from different perspectives. Judges literally, Brave Nation, if you see a completely different score from one judge to the other, it's because they saw a different fight. Yeah. When you see a fight from one angle, very often, the judge who is all by on purpose put on an opposite side of the cage cannot see the same things you see and vice versa. So Phil and I see this as 20 to 18 in favor of Dan Shield Buddha Moodley. That would mean the demolition man only has one way to win, and that would be a knockout or potentially even a tap out. But we did not see this fight from the angle that the judges here saw it. And of course, we are not official judges. It must be said that Janelle Lawson does not have a finish of any kind in mixed martial arts since June 2015. Janelle Lawson has given, he's been given his marching orders, been told exactly what to do, and that is get out there and be aggressive. However, Phil, he cannot be too aggressive. If he's too aggressive, if he's at uh, on, 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 on the width of a toe, more forward than he should be, he's gonna get taken down. He's gonna play a very, very intelligent game here, potentially even try and bait his opponent into exchanging a little bit, and then unleashing that incredible power that we know so well he possesses. What? Nice Beautiful show of, show of respect in here. That is why I love this sport. 
give each other a hug, earn one another's respect, and now they're going to try and knock out or tap out their opponent. Buda Noodley, briefly in southpaw, shifts right back to orthodox. And back. It's such smart fighting here. Donchian needs to be careful when he threw the kick there. It was a little bit lethargic and the hands came down. If I got a read on that, I'm sure the corner was a beautiful shot. Well, if I got a read on that, I'm pretty sure the corner of Janelle Lousa got a read on it too. Brave Nation, one of the reasons I'm complimenting the shifting that's going from one side forward to the other so much is it's easy to get caught when you shift. There's a brief little moment there when you're going one side or the other. You saw it. We're going to see it again. If your opponent can time you and catch you in that, it is lights out. Just constant, perpetual movement side to side from Dancio Moodley. And this is actually what Janelle Lousy should be doing more of. Dancio moving very, very well in order to pull ahead in this round on the judges' scorecards. Got to land something. He's floating like a butterfly. We need to see the sting like a bee now. But you know what Janelle Lousy has only ever one big shot away from ending someone's night. He has a monster lead left hook. They don't call him the J demolition man for nothing. This man could knock out a heavyweight. He's got violent hands. He did knock out Michael Escobia via fifth round. In the fifth round, rather, in the Philippines in August 20 to 22 in a boxing bout. So we know he has the hands. The Demo Demolition Man right now is laser focused. <laughs> Great shot by Dancio Moodley. Demolition Man wants to land either that left hook or the straight right. There's a couple of times Moodley has circled out to his right. He needs to be careful circling out low there. He could potentially get hit with a head kick. Demolition Man wants to be a little less obvious about what his intentions are. He needs to faint a little more, level change a little more, pop in and out a little bit. We know what he wants to do. He wants to move forward, land the hands. That's his goal. He's got to disguise it a little bit more. Dante Moodley is definitely getting his 10,000 steps in in the cage tonight. I don't think the man has stopped this round. Brave Nation is very hard to describe how tough it is to fight five-minute rounds under these television lights. Dante Moodley, Moodley looks fresh as a daisy right now. Yep, we are. We are struggling under the lights, and we're not fighting another human being. Nice, almost skiing-type movement from Dancio Moodley. Almost like he's trying to run away from a crocodile. Moodley's had great luck every minute of this fight so far, but he can't get cocky. Just because you're winning doesn't mean you win in the end. In it, mixed martial arts, the old adage is true. You can't be winning until you're not. Head kick landed on the gloves, but can still do damage. Moodley did land the kick earlier, though. On the judges' scorecard, in that exchange, he came out on top. Another nice shot there from Dancio Moodley. His boxing looks on point. I think he's got the uppercut. I think Janelle Lausa has the uppercut loaded. Oh, big hook. Janelle slowing down just a little bit under the relentless heat of these television lights. Just a little bit less explosive than he was the first couple minutes of the fight. That is not to say he cannot knock his opponent out at any moment now, because he can. Less than one minute, Brave Nation. There's that big uppercut attempt. There it is again. Uppercut to hook combination. He wasn't far away. Dan Shield doing a great job staying in the outside and landing just enough to stay ahead in the judges' scorecards. Thirty seconds to go, and if you're Janelle Lausa, you need to throw the kitchen sink at Dan Shield movie here. Just pay, throw caution to the wind. He cannot stand on ceremony or reputation here. He needs to make something happen. Nice inside leg kick from Ridley. Phil, Dan Shield could, of course, just try and run out the round. But he's not gonna. He's gonna dance with a gallant from him. He's gonna stay aggressive. You're seeing it right here. He's gonna got 10 seconds now, Phil. Beautiful performance from Dan Shield Ridley. I think it's fair to take care.
that is the best version of that show Moodley we have seen. Absolutely dominant performance from the man from South Africa and now from as well Australia, Dan Shields, Buddha, Moodley. Terrific caught kick. Some ever, not, and again, you see here the court kick. The kick landed for the second time. The follow-ups did not. That exchange at first glance looks like the demolition man came out on top, but he did not. Buddha landed the shot and avoided damage from the follow-ups. I make no mistake about it. Janelle Lausa is an incredibly dangerous fighter. This is a huge win on my Dan Shield Buddha runs his record to eight wins every single one of us. By dominant decision. What you're seeing right here is one of my many, many favorite things about this sport, Brave Nation. The two coaches are exchanging respect with each other. The two coaches are speaking to their uh, the, the fighter that their fighter just fought. There is nothing but respect and even love in the Brave Combat Federation cage right now. about to give us the news. All right, Brave Nation, another exciting battle inside the Brave CF 66 cage. After three rounds, we go to judge the scorecards. Your first judge scores about 29-28. Your next two judges scores about 30-27 for your unanimous decision victory. Out of the red corner! Now you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Don Shell Moodley with a huge win. Phil, we've seen, we've had the honor of calling Dan Shields fights at Brave 19, Brave 28, Brave 31, and now Brave 66. It brings me joy to watch how much this young man is developing every time he steps into the Brave Combat Federation cage. And we may just have a New York contender in the flyweight division. That led to that unanimous decision victory for Dan Shield Buddha Moodley. Nice single leg. Buddha looks to attack, but gets caught inside a guillotine. Was not in any danger, though. Popped his head out in fairly short order. Ended up on top. And he gets his picture with the roaring lion. That's what it's all about. The four time, or is it five time, cage announcer of the year. It might be five, you know. It ought to be six, Phil. It will be. 